doing? We must regain altitude! We can't leave them! No! Your Eminence Delario! What? Why, Delario? Where did I put the phone? I think I know who he is. Hello? James! Or maybe I should call you Doctor? <laughs> Only when I'm on duty, Christophero. Not when I'm on holiday. I still can't imagine you in a white coat. The black suited you well. <laughs> You've never understood a thing about style. I always said you should have been a model. <laughs> Listen, I'd like to thank you for all you did. And that friend of yours, the barman. He was really kind. He was able to organize everything without a problem. I believe it. Mario's more connected than anyone else in the neighborhood, and has more relatives as well. When I decided to come back to Italy, I never could have imagined I would receive such support. It's the least I could do. After all, you came early because of me. It's just as well. If I hadn't received your invitation, I would have probably postponed my holiday once again. As I've been doing for years. <laughs> you haven't changed. Always the first in the class. So, tell me everything. What did you want to show me? You've been so mysterious. Can we meet next week? I'd like to see you sooner. How about now? Um, okay. Let's meet at Mario's bar, outside your house. Of course. But can you tell me what this is about? Africa, James. What? I'll be at the bar in half an hour. I'll be there. Come in.
Hello, Mario. Hey, Doc! Did you sleep well? I slept like a log. The flat is perfect. Thank you. Uh, don't mention it. This place belonged to my brother-in-law. I had to evict him. What? Are you kidding? Of course. He's a traveler, you know, for work. One day he's here, the next day he's there. My office is the world, he says. And so this place is empty for months. Unfortunately, the TV doesn't work. So I'll have to repair it before you can use it. So no derby, Doc. But if you want, you can watch the match with us at the bar. <laughs> Even if you don't seem that big a fan. It's great. Thank you. I repaired my brother-in-law's car. You can use it if you want. It's downstairs. I really don't know how to thank you, Mario. Don't worry about it. As I always say, friends of my priest friends are my friends as well. Why do you keep calling me Doc? There's no need to be formal. Call me James, please. But I act this way with all the people, like, well, like you. Which is... Those who have more brain cells than I do. <laughs> of course, that's not such a difficult task. I think you overestimate me, Mario. Modest, wise, and above all, <laughs> very clever. I wonder how many degrees you have. Well, cleverness can't be measured by the number of degrees. See? What did I tell you, Doc? This is wisdom! Don't worry about the TV. It's okay this way. But you're wrong about me. I'm a great White Sox fan. Never heard of them. Do they play in third division? It's a baseball team. Baseball? That's a sport I've never understood. All those lines and rules. And why do they have to wear that big glove on just one hand? <laughs> it's not so complicated. Basically, the pitcher has to throw the ball from a distance of about 20 meters. The batter has to hit it back as far as he can. Oh, I see. Just like a penalty kick. Sort of. But without a foul in the penalty area. In baseball, you usually try to avoid contact. The goal is to beat up the ball, not each other. Ha! Ah, wimpy stuff! No offense, Doc. No problem. But it's not always that way. In the hands of a true American, a baseball bat is also the best weapon against apartment thieves. Eh, maybe it's good against American thieves. What do you mean? If you stay here long enough, you discover that for yourself. Welcome to Italy, Doc! Did Father Cristoforo tell you I might need a car? Actually, it was my idea. A holiday without a car is not a real holiday. And then, you know, we're in Rome. We have a tradition to defend. We don't have the kind of culture that, uh... How do I say...? Are you referring to public transportation? You have the gift of humor, Doc. Just like your friend. Very nice guy. That Father Cristoforo. He looks just like you, too. It's just that he's much, much more fatherly than you are. Is it so obvious? I haven't been around the ecclesiastical community for a while. Really? How long? Eleven years. And it wasn't an easy decision, was it? What makes you say that? Because you answered me instantly, without thinking. But your answer was very accurate. <laughs> Hey, I wouldn't be a good barman if I didn't understand people. Oh, I almost forgot. Here you are. The car keys. Mario, forgive me, but you seem hurt. You're right, Doc. I so miss working on cars. Once I did it regularly, but now... No, no, I mean literally. Your arm is bleeding. Oh, this little cut is from a spark plug that didn't want to come out. <laughs> Don't worry. As soon as I get back to the bar, I'll spill some 1998 Barolo wine on it, and it will be okay. Oh, no, you need a few stitches. Let me do it, please. 
Do you know a less painful way? This way is less painful and much cheaper. I'll get the emergency kit. This emergency kit will be useful. I've opened it. There's everything you need for emergency dressing. This bottle seems almost empty. I'll take the cotton and pour on the remaining peroxide. I'll use just one piece of cotton. I'm warning you, Mario. This could sting a little. Go ahead! It can't be worse than the Velletri Bianco I poured on the wound two months ago. Done. You sure know how to keep away from cheap wines, Doc? I have no time to read. I'll have to change it. I've got nothing against symbols, but I've already got my Bible with me. Is there any problem, Doc? No, Mario. I'm only collecting what I need for your wound. I'll tend it right away. I can't dress the wound without stitching it. I'll turn it on. It would be better to turn the stove off first. Maybe later. Useless. It's broken.
there is nothing else to pick up. A common needle and thread will come in handy. There's also a silicone tube. I could use it for some small work around the house, unless Mario does it before me, of course. Already done. I've already heard the news. I'm okay. I already shaved. Good idea. Good idea, but if I really want to use them on Mario, I should sterilize the needle first. Good idea, but if I really want to use them on Mario, I should sterilize the needle first. Good idea, but if I really want to use them on Mario... I'll turn it on. Okay, I can sterilize the needle this way. I'd better turn off the stove now. Yes, now that I've finally sterilized the needle, I can insert the thread. Um, I must confess, Doc, I've got a problem with needles. I'll be very delicate. Trust me. Well... Hey, you were right. I didn't feel a thing. Hold on. We're almost done, Mario. Voila. Done. Amazing! I don't even feel pain anymore. It was just a small wound. Modesty is a gift of you priests, isn't it? Ex-priests. Yeah. Christophero. I'm going to meet him in a few minutes. Just outside the bar. My bar? I've wasted too much of your time. Let me lead the way then. Thanks. This morning, I received an excellent bottle of grappa from the wine cellar of my Apulian parents-in-law. It was for the bar, but <laughs> I was thinking of drinking it myself. But after everything you did, it's all yours. Oh, no. You fixed the car and I fixed you. That seems fair to me. Besides, I try to keep away from alcohol. What is this I'm hearing? Let me guess. You haven't read a single newspaper since you arrived here, have you? Actually, no. I've had no time to do that. I thought so. I suggest you keep this bottle very close for when you read the political pages. <laughs> I suppose you don't accept no as an answer. I'm the owner of a bar. People usually beg me for a bottle. Thank you very much, Mario. Now I have to go back to work. Best regards to your friend. Of course. Good lord, I'd really like to have your accent, Doc. Uh. 
I try to keep away from this stuff. I try to keep away from this stuff. Better leave it where it is. Yes? James, where are you? I'm in front of the bar, just like you told me. Forgive me, I don't think I can come. Oh, well, don't worry, we can postpone it until- You can still meet me now. I'm at the Santa Brigida's house in Piazza Farnisa. Do you remember how to get there? Yes, I think so. I can trust you, can't I? Of course, but is everything okay? Sorry, I, I can't explain now. Try to come as fast as you can. Okay, but just tell me- Hurry up, James. He seemed... terrified to me. I've never heard him that way. I'd better hurry up. I wouldn't know who to call. My phone. I wouldn't know who- It's locked. No! Cristoforo! He's still alive. Call an ambulance. I said call an ambulance! Quick! The patient is ready to be taken to the hospital. Are you coming with us, sir? No. I'll follow later. Cristoforo. James! You... You were right! I'm here now. I, I was afraid of this. He... Don't strain yourself. Christophero was scared to death, and he didn't seem to trust anyone. Maybe I should have a look at what he left before someone else can get their hands on it. Better leave it here. I don't think the sister would be happy if I stole such an artistic work. Why should I? I don't live here. There's nothing I need there. I don't think it will be helpful. No, I know the contents very well. Besides, it doesn't seem like a useful clue to me. Hey, you! What are you doing? Shouldn't we wait? I don't know. I mean, you can't take that stuff. Or... maybe you can. I'm only trying to understand what's happened to my friend. He fell down the stairs. Was he alone? Yes, apart from me. I was in the other room and 
Wait a moment. You are not accusing me, are you? Absolutely not. But the police could ask you... What? The police? Oh, no. No, no, no. Please, if you're Father Christophero's friend, take all you want, but please, don't get me in trouble. Don't worry. Thank you. It's a good thing she's leaving me alone. I need to discover as much as possible without interference. No, I know the contents very well. Besides, it doesn't seem like a useful clue to me. I don't have time to read right now. I'll let the authorities deal with it. No, I didn't rent a room. I have no reason to go upstairs. I wouldn't know who to call. Why should I? I don't live here. I haven't got time now. I have no reason to go upstairs. I can't leave until I've found all possible clues in this room. I need something that helps me understand what happened to my friend. There's nothing I need there. There's nothing I need there. There's nothing I need there. I have no reason to go upstairs. No, I didn't rent a room. There's nothing I need there. I don't think it will be helpful. No, I know the contents very well. Besides, it doesn't seem like a useful clue to me. I wouldn't know who to call. I have no reason to go upstairs. No, I know the contents very well. Besides, it doesn't seem like a useful clue to me. No, I know the contents very well. Besides, it doesn't seem like a useful clue to me. Better leave it here. I can't leave until I've found all possible clues in this room. I need something that helps me understand what happened to my friend. I found Christophero here, with his face on the floor. He was very frightened on the phone. It seems he fell down the stairs. It seems like a collection of psalms composed by King David, Joseph's forefather. He's the same David who challenged Goliath, the giant. I love that story.
It's a leather strap. It seems to be torn from a bag. I'm not a detective, but it can't be a coincidence. Christophero was pushed. I'd better go to the hospital to see how Christophero is doing. I think I should inform him about the sad news. Listen, Mario. Father Christophero. Oh, I know what happened to him. I couldn't believe it. Were you able to talk to him before he... Not as I planned. I'm really sorry for your friend. I, I, I feel so powerless when something like this happens. That's not true. Nobody is powerless if he's willing to help. Uh, we can always pray, right? Yes, we can pray. And maybe we can try to do other things, too. You know I'm ready to help any way you want, Doc. Thank you so much, Mario. Better leave it where it is. I try to keep away from this. I've got nothing to ask him right now. Maybe later. Maybe later. I've got nothing against... It's from last year. I think it was left... This thing is quickly replacing the stethoscope for the honor of best doctor's tool. have no time to read. Zodiac. Already done. I don't want to go in. I'm almost allergic to... To the best of my recollection, this church... 
I no longer believe it's necessary to enter a church. I don't want to go in. Oh, here you are again. Have you got news about your friend? Not good, unfortunately. The fall has caused internal bleeding, and now he's in a coma. Oh dear. Will he recover? Nobody knows. Oh, St. Brigida, please protect our unlucky brother. I have no reason to go upstairs. No, I didn't rent a room. There's nothing I need there. Why should I? This is a portrait of Santa. This is where I found Christopher. I'll let the authorities deal with it. Hello, sister. God bless you for your help. I don't know what I would have done without you. I wish I could have done more. Just my luck. It had to be today when I'm all alone. Can you promise not to tell anyone about this? Don't worry. I'm neither a journalist nor a big mouth. So what are you? Wait a minute. If it wasn't for the way you're dressed and your accent, I'd say you're one of us. I left the priesthood many years ago. Oh, that's why. A doctor. In fact, it seemed to me before, with your friend on the floor, you were... at ease. I'm much more at ease when my friends stand on their feet, actually. Oh, sorry. I said a stupid thing, didn't I? Never mind. We're all a bit shocked. I haven't seen anyone else around. Why are you all alone? Oh my god, why did this have to happen today? Of all days. They trusted me to stay here alone for a few days. What a terrible coincidence! Where did they go? Well, here and there, but most of them went on a pilgrimage to Medjugorje with the Mother Superior. I would have loved to go with them, but I have this problem with airplanes. And I think there must be a reason God created us without wings. Have you ever been to Medjugorje? Once. When I was younger. And what did you see? Not much. Oh, I understand. You're the type of cynical man who always says, non constant de... Oh, what is the expression? Supernatural, isn't it? De supernaturalitate. I try to analyze miracles and apparitions, cum grano salis. It's just caution, that's all. It seems to me your studies have taken you far from the right road. You had a crisis of faith, didn't you? I've dealt with so many crises in my life I can fill a long list but faith is not on that list. You rent rooms in this convent, right? Yes, of course. Do you need one? No, thank you. I've already found a place to stay. The Brigadine nuns can offer you such a relaxing stay. We even have a big library upstairs. It was not by chance that your friend chose this place. Hey, now that I think about it, you can keep him company. Sorry, sometimes I talk too much. They call me Sister Big Mouth. It's the nickname the Mother Superior gave me. Don't you worry, Sister... Sister Candida. It's just that I'm not used to having complicated assignments, like this one, for example. What do you usually deal with? I help in the lunch hall. Oh my god, I hope I'm not thrown out after what happened today. Listen, young man, this is a decent place. And if someone knew I wasn't careful enough... Well, I haven't done anything wrong, right? It was just an accident. Please don't spread the news around. I won't, sister. I am a discreet person, and I know it wasn't your fault. The concern this woman shows for Christophero's health really touches my heart. But it's better this way. I don't want other people to be involved in this situation. 
at least until I understand what the hell is going on here. I ran here as soon as I heard you screaming. How long had Christophero been in that condition? Oh, no more than five minutes. I went away just for a second. God moves in mysterious ways. Or maybe someone was waiting for her to leave. I'm so sorry you couldn't even say hello to him. You're not from here, right? Your accent... You're right. Christophero and I met a long time ago. After seminary. We worked together at the Vatican for a few years. But I'm from Chicago, and I went back there a few years ago to work as a doctor. Oh, America. Is it true you keep a Bible in every hotel? Yes, mostly. Are there so many Catholic hotels? Actually, the evangelicals hand out Bibles for the hotels. Evangelicals? Bah! I don't really like their intrusive methods. Well... Don't you agree? Partially. But some consider it more intrusive to bind people to religious faith from birth through the sacraments. Have you got something against the Catholic Church, young man? It's a long story. And very complicated. How long did Christophero stay here? Mm, not long, I'd say. Five or six days. Actually, it was rare to see him around here. What do you mean? Well, you see, your friend was a very private person. He wasn't a, how do I say this, a, a sociable kind of man. That doesn't seem like Christophero's typical behavior at all. Do you mean he avoided any contact? Let's just say it was unusual to see him around. As far as I know, he went to his room only once, then he gave back his keys and never went back inside again. Didn't he come back at night? Sometimes we saw him coming back, but he spent all night in the library upstairs without entering his room. In fact, his key has always been on the key rack. Two days ago, I found him sleeping among the books. I offered him coffee, but he refused and left in a hurry. Did he seem nervous for some reason? Oh my god, why should he be nervous? Just curiosity. We've been away from each other for such a long time. Oh, I wouldn't say he was nervous. He was certainly very busy, always with his head in the clouds and tired. Distracted, yeah. I bet that's the reason he fell down the stairs. That is definitely not Christophero's style. Did you see anyone entering before me a few hours ago by any chance? I've been alone the whole time. As I was saying, Father Christophero wasn't here very often, so I wasn't even sure he was here before the accident. Thanks for everything, sister. Please, come back whenever you want. I have no reason to go upstairs. No. I've got nothing to ask him right now. In God's name. I know this book very well. It's a long essay written by David Yallop, an English writer who investigated the death of Pope Giovanni I. Among other things, the book concentrates on some shady business dealings involving the IOR, the Vatican Bank, plus the relationships between members of the Holy See and the Freemasons, various banks, and Roman organized crime in the 70s and 80s. A sad page in church history. But why did Christophero take a copy of the book with him? I'll take them all. I think I should know more about them. Their position in the book could not be accidental, so I'll also remember the pages. It could refer to anything. Three, seven, nine, five. These are the bookmarks I found in Christophero's book. These are the bookmarks I found in Christophero's book.
I don't want to go in. I no longer... I have no reason to go upstairs. I don't think the sister would be... I've got nothing else to add. Better leave it here. This is a... No, I didn't rent a room. Maybe later. Maybe later. I have no time to read. I wouldn't know who to call. These are the bookmarks I found in Christophero's book. To the best of my recollection, this church was entirely rebuilt in the 18th century. No. I have no... I've got nothing else to... Why should I? There's nothing I... This is where I found... There's nothing I need there. I have no time to sit. I've got nothing to ask him right now. I don't want to watch TV now.